All right, welcome back to PC Building Simulator. We're here in the Razor Workshop. I'm kind of like, I don't know, switching things up, trying new new like workshops whenever I want to. This one has toast, so I'm, I'm a big fan of the toast. Uh, in the last episode, we built this, the all Asus ROG PC 2.0. It's pretty cool. It's built in the new Asus ROG Strix Helios case, which is pretty fun. Also, over here, I actually built this on the official PC Building Simulator channel recently. It's a big power in a small case. Uh, kind of the other side of the big chungus. It's the little chungus. It's not called that. I'm just calling it that. But uh, if you want to see that video, be sure to head over to the official PC Building Simulator channel and check it out. I'll put the link down in the description. If you want to see it, it's cool. It's fun. I had fun building it. You should check it out. Their channel's cool. You should subscribe. But anyway, uh, today we're going to do something a little different. So uh, if, you, if you saw when I did a live stream back at the very start of January, actually on New Year's Day uh, in my time zone, I tried to build in this case. This is a new case that was introduced in version 1.10. It's the Raisin, Raisin Tech, Raisin Tech, I'm being told it's Raisin Tech, Eris Evo. It's cool, it's really interesting, but it was like pretty broken, to be honest, when it came out in 1.10, it's pretty broken. But now we're in version 1.10.1. It got a small update at some point. Actually, maybe it got like two updates, I don't know. Uh, it got an update of some sort, super small one, and it looks like they've at least fixed this case, uh, fixed. I'm doing air quotes, you can't see them, but you can feel them, right? Uh, and now it's less broken. So we're gonna build in it. Oh, that's where they, okay, got it, good. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we're gonna build in it and we're gonna do something really weird. We're gonna see, uh, so this is a case that's really interesting. You actually have enough room in here to do 480 rads in the front. <laughs> that's the back. 480 rad in the back, one in the front, and one up top. Um, but instead of doing that, we're gonna do a bunch of 120 rads. We're gonna do as many 120 rads as we can get into this P into this uh, case, and then we're gonna see how it does at cooling. So yeah, it's a bad idea, it's dumb, and we're gonna do it, cause whatever. Uh, I'm gonna use this brand new uh, MSI Crater TRX-40 that was introduced recently, maybe? Am I making that up? I may be making that up. That might not be new, I can't remember, but we're gonna use it anyway, so this supports third gen Threadripper, which is gonna be fun because we can do a little bit of cooling testing. So we're gonna do the 3990X. That way we can get a sufficiently uh, beefy CPU in here that should get pretty hot. So we can maybe do a little bit of a clocking and see exactly how a bunch of 120 mil radi radiators, whoa, radiators um, cool something like that. So I'm feeling like 40, 40 from for, for 4400 megahertz 8 gig. Let's do it. That sounds good. Let's do here. I really wish I knew how the channels worked on these uh, third gen Threadripper boards, like to know how you do like dual. I think they have like what quad channel memory in these, probably. I would guess so. With eight slots, I would kind of hope. Uh, oh, we've got a vertical M.2, a horizontal M. Oh, there's two down here. Dang, that's kind of fun. Okay, let's do up here. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Usually they don't really care that much uh let's see let's go with our usual friend the uh spectrix rgb 2.0 oh wow fat fingered something there sorry that was bad uh as, as i was saying the mgx spectrix 2 2 2 terabyte okay that's good get that in there um all right let's uh it's a super interesting case right so it's got a beauty panel up here which is fun. Then you can see your four drive bays. The power supply will mount over here and we can swing around the back. We can actually take off this weird beauty panel here. Uh, power supply here. I think you have to remove the whole thing to get a power supply. The beauty panel is weird. I don't really like get it, but uh, it is what it is. We're gonna do the 1600i, AX 1600i from Corsair. It's good. We, I just wanna have lots of power. I don't really wanna worry about it. So we don't necessarily need that much wattage, but we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it anyway, so, okay. Beauty panel back on. It's a really weird case too, because it has like this weird bracket here, this case part, this fan hub. Uh, you can actually put six 120 mil fans on here. I don't know why, like I don't know what the point is to like cool the backside of the motherboard, but you can do it. I don't know, and it has like a dust filter if you, I just took, I already took it off, but I don't get it, but yeah, it's on there. Kind of strange. Uh, we don't need to do anything else down here. We're not going to do any other hard drives. I'm not really, I'm not really concerned about that. I'm concerned about radiators, radi radiators. So uh, let's get into a little custom water cleaning. Let's do our reservoir. We've got room, so I've got to use the uh, 250 mil acetal ice becker from Alpha Cool because I never get to use it because it's huge. So we'll use that. And we got room for radiators. I guess we can go ahead and get a graphics card in here. I'm not going to cool the graphics card. 
We're just gonna do an air-cooled card. We're gonna do the Founders 3090 because it's pretty and I like it a lot. So we're gonna go with that. We are just gonna focus on CPU cooling. So let's get our thermal paste on there and let's get a water-cooled CPU block on here. We're gonna do the AlphaCool Icebox XPX Pro 1U TR4. Specifically, obviously, has to be TR4. Uh, okay, so that's like most of the meat. Now let's get down to the fun bits, which is the radiators, which is gonna be dumb. It's gonna be really dumb. So uh, let's see, what should we go with? XR5, XR7, XR5, I'm just gonna go with 120s. Yes, we're gonna go with 120s. Let's go with EK's RGB, just to make them look like more obnoxious and visible. So we can do this. Uh, we should be able to get eight in this case, which is pretty fun. So we gotta space them out a little bit. We're gonna be able to do three in the front, three in the back. Oh, I gotta think about this. Okay, because this case is this weird thing where in order to get the USB... Okay, I think we're gonna be... Okay, I gotta check this, sorry. We gotta check this quick because this case is this weird thing. If I put, if I block off the whole back side here, I can't get a USB thumb drive in. It's really strange. We're gonna be fine on this one. I think that's actually a, a benefit of having these radiators that we're okay, we can get in. But like if you put a 480 right on it, yeah, you can't, you can't do it. Like you can't install everything. You have to like, not have a radiator, install everything, then put it here, loop. It's just, it's super obnoxious, but we're gonna be okay. Uh, so that was just good to check though, just to <laughs> make this a little less painful. So we got three in the back. We can do the same thing up front. We can do one kind of down here by the power supply shroud, one in the middle, and one at the tippity tippity top. And we'll be able to reach those, uh, those top radiators because we're gonna put our top, top ones like this. Yes, like that. So we've got enough room to get to all of these. So we've got a total of eight radiators in this, uh, and I'm super curious to see how this does at cooling. It's gonna be super ridiculous. Let's plumb it up. I'm gonna do flexible cabling. <laughs> I'm gonna do flexible tubing because I'm not insane. I'm not doing rigid tubing. Come on, like, don't be crazy. What's out? That's out. Okay, so well, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Like, look at this. Nothing is going to matter in this. Uh, oh my gosh, please. Yeah there to here we're going with the you know the cross pattern no we're not i'm not being consistent it doesn't matter nothing matters uh here sure there dip form a nice little loop here things are looking really great yeah and then we're gonna go and we're gonna go in this direction so out and then in okay oh no 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 no, no. you could do it you can do it Come on, you, you try harder. You can, no, 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 you can, you can do this. Am I gonna seriously have to rigid pipe this last one? Just, just so that it gets around this? Watch, it'll probably just like snap into place. No, nope, it didn't, it didn't do it. What, why, why would you go this route? You don't need to work this hard. It doesn't have to be this difficult. Don't run into the other one. Okay, you know what? Actually, it's this, this one is creating the issues. Uh, let's, let's see, maybe it's order of operations. Here to here. No, oh my gosh, seriously? Game. Okay. I don't know why that. Game. Be good to me. Be good to me, game. Left to right. Okay, I. Ooh, I don't understand this game. Blue, clear, UV. All right, so there you go. We're plumbed up. This is gonna take a long time to fill, by the way. So uh, I might have to just cut out of this because this is gonna be really boring. Uh, but so we've got, we've got eight radiators. We're kind of doing, well, you can see, we're doing a clockwise uh, loop <laughs> loop order. Not that it matters at all. And we're gonna see how it handles a little bit of stress testing. And we'll, I guess, see if we actually can can tell if this works well. I'm, I don't know, I'm curious. Uh, otherwise, I think we're pretty much good to go once this is done filling and it's taking forever. Uh, what can we get on while we're sitting here? Not that, because I need that to be open. Um, backside panel? Yes. That can be closed. Okay. Did we finish? Is it done? USB drive? Okay, good. You're in? All right. We're going to get this all set up. And I'm going to get some stuff installed. And then we're going to do a little bit of benchmarking to see exactly how we do.
All right, so we've got everything kind of installed and set up here, but to really do some overclocking testing to have some sort of baseline, we kind of like need, it's like we need another one of these computers that has more, like, like that has like a normal radiator setup, not eight tiny 120 rads. So if only we had one of those, um, luckily, you know, for some reason, we have one right here. So there you go. This is the same exact configuration but instead of having four 120 mil rads, which is completely dumb and I don't recommend, it has three 480 rads, which is crazy, completely crazy. Um, and let me just make sure both of these have their BIOSes set to totally stock. So we're gonna do factory reset on this one. And this one's already factory reset. I actually just did that. Well, it was it was factory reset. It, I didn't touch anything. So no, no XMP, no memory overclocking, nothing. Uh, totally stock, totally factory. So we can see they're both gonna be running at 4.3 gigahertz. So I'm gonna set them both to an infinite test. At idle, this one's doing 40.09. And at idle, this one is doing actually just a tiny bit cooler, barely. I don't even know if you can count that anything, but also 4,300 megahertz you can see on the CPU. So under stress test here with three 480 rads, we're uh, we're chilling at 57.82C. 57.82 versus 57.82. Okay. So, so far at idle, these are the same. There's no appreciable temperature difference between uh, eight 120 mil radiators and three 480 mil radiators. Now in real life, I would think the 480 mils are gonna be a lot better at dissipating heat. Again, in real life, you get limited by ambient temperature. So it really might not even matter. This might be so much more radiator than we really even need, uh, but I guess we'll find out. So to find out, let's push these CPUs a little bit further. Oh, 57.83, has that moved? That's, that's changed, what is that? 57.83? 37.82, oh my gosh, this one's the winner. It won by a hundredth of a degree. Wow, just kidding. We're gonna do a little bit of overclocking to see exactly uh, how different, if, we'll see if they actually get different at all. So let's go into BIOS here. We're again on the three 480 mil rad uh, version here. We're gonna take it up to 4.6 gigahertz and I'm, <laughs> I do think this one might have the better overclocking CPU from a little bit of work I've done off camera, uh, but let's go up to 46 for the multiplier. And then we're gonna throw more voltage than this one needs, which is gonna be 1.7 volts. This one really only needs about one point, one and a half to do 4.6, but we're gonna do it anyway. So we're not gonna touch RAM. We're just gonna stick with the CPU there. We're gonna do the exact same settings on this one. I'm curious to see if our temperatures are any different. I have not looked at temperatures at all, I just wanted to make sure I had overclocking settings that would work so we didn't have to fumble around uh, blue screening during the whole video. That would have been not, not a lot of fun. So we're gonna up to 4.6 gigahertz on this one as well. And we're gonna do the exact same voltage just to make sure it's the same. Again, the other one does not need this much voltage, but this one for some reason, it does need, maybe not this much, but it needs more. I don't know why, and it's not very stable. I couldn't get it to go to 4.7 without throwing a, well, I was too scared to throw a bunch of voltage at it, so, uh, okay. So in here, we'll see now we're at 4.6 gigahertz. We get 107% overclock. We're idling at 40.12. And things should be the same over here. Uh, 4.6, good, 107%. Great, 40.12. That idle temperature is suspiciously similar. I mean, not similar, but identical. Okay, we're gonna do infinite tests on automatic. I don't even know if that's that different. Uh, and then same here. Okay, we're off to the races. So on our three, rad version we are running at 66.08 c on the cpu versus 72.67 okay there's an appreciable difference but it did take doing a little bit of overclocking to see that difference but that's actually a difference almost 73 c on eight 120 mil radiators which is again so stupid versus 66 so that's a that's a temperature difference of six degrees i mean it's not nothing but it's I mean, it's something for sure. So, um, and I mean, we could probably take these, I could probably get these to go up to 4.7, but this one is just, this This chip is not overclocking as nicely. So, um, but still, I think this demonstrates potentially the difference between eight 120 mil radiators and three 480 mil radiators. Um, obviously the actual surface area of these radiators is greater than eight here. You know, this is, this is really like more like 12-ish uh, 120 mil radiators, kind of. I don't know if you can even really make that comparison. Um, 
But yeah, so that's actually interesting. I've never tried this test in PC Building Simulator, but I always wanted to. And I also just wanted to do like a, there's way too many radiators in this PC build for no reason, build PC. What? Anyway, so uh, there you go. Tell me, let me go, let me know what you guys think. I'm curious. Uh, and if you maybe you've tested something like this in the game before, I think there, I think maybe you could get more radiators in the Rajin tech. Rajin tech? I don't even know how to say it. Enyo, um, because that supports a, that supports what? Four 480s and one 360. So you could potentially get even more in there. At some point, it's a little hard to get the loop really hot though. I guess maybe if we threw in GPUs too, we could do hotter maybe i don't know it could be fun maybe we'll do that as like a part two someday uh but let me know what you guys think and hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more videos there's a lot of videos in one sentence uh be sure to subscribe to see more videos of pc building simulator as well as other games i've been playing and either way thank you all so much for watching i will see you in the next video see ya